This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I'm in just a t-shirt today because it is 16 degrees. It's a warm day at last. It's been so cold recently. Um, unfortunately, it shows my breasts. <laughs> so no comments about breasts. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, uh, where was I? Um, yeah, um, very warm compared to recently. It's been quite cold this year, I felt. Um, where, where are we in now, May? Yeah, we're in May. Hopefully the, uh, the warm weather is gonna start coming soon. Anyway, today we are in Chowtenham. Well, we're not, we're just about to go to Chowtenham. Currently on the M5, we're gonna come off in half a mile's time um, to head into Chowtenham. We are loaded with aluminium logs, as we call them. Uh, I will show you when we get out, but basically it's like the length of the trailer, ever so slight overhang as well. Um, and uh, we're delivering to Hydro in Cheltenham, where I assume they get melted back down and reproduced into other aluminium products. That is what I'm guessing. Well, we've got the raw aluminium, uh, the log itself, do you know what I mean, before it's melted down. So that's what we're gonna do. So I am starting this video a little bit late in the day. It's, uh, it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon, just gone. Um, we got this loaded this morning in Wrexham. Probably should have started the video back there, <laughs> but we've decided to start here now. We're delivering to uh, Hydro and Cheltenham. They don't take deliveries after one o'clock, I think. It might be two o'clock, but it could be one o'clock. I can't remember. We, we're fine. We'll get it off in time. But um, by the time we leave, it's going to be like one o'clock, maybe afterwards. I don't actually know what I'm doing from here. I, I would assume we're going to Tetbury to load up with Melkor. That's a complete guess. It could be anything. But if we go to Tetbury, get loaded, we might not be leaving Tetbury till three o'clock this afternoon. It's a bit of an awkward time. I'm certainly not going to get anything else delivered today, but it's whether I go back to the yard or whether I go to where I'm delivering to and stay out for the night. We did stay out for the night last night in Wrexham because we got there at four o'clock in the afternoon. They wouldn't load us. So we're, we're behind schedule for the week because we couldn't get loaded last night and it's taken most of the day today to get this on. So yeah, we got loaded at seven, uh, no, sorry, we arrived at seven o'clock this morning um, in the Wrexham place, uh, as was I was told to arrive for 7 a.m. We didn't leave until, I think it was like 10 o'clock, half 10, something like that. So we were there for quite a while waiting to be loaded, but we got loaded in the end and uh, now we're in Chowdham. So, had we have got loaded last night in Wrexham, we would have probably not left until five o'clock and then uh, got down here for maybe half seven, eight o'clock. And we would have probably have turned left here and stayed on that road, which takes you into Sainsbury's. I've stayed there before. It was relatively quiet, but there's not an awful lot of room for trucks. So it may have been a case that I got here last night and there were no room. Cause like, yeah, there's cars there now. I wouldn't get a truck in there now. But we don't have to worry about that because <laughs> we're not parking up. We're going to go get this loaded. I just got no idea what we're doing next. We'll, uh, we'll send the boss a message once we get here, just asking where to next. And then uh, we'll have an answer. But I do like to guess. I reckon it's going to be Tetbury or it could be um, maybe a load of Chet pallets from Swindon potentially. Just a guess. Don't change. Don't change. Don't change. Thank you very much. Just lights are changing way too quick recently for trucks. Don't give us time to get out. Ooh, Aston Martins. Another branch. That's probably closer than London, <laughs> in Cheltenham. Maybe one day I'll come to Cheltenham and get an Aston Martin. I want an Aston Martin, man. Okay, we're going to take up two lanes because uh, we need to take a left-hand turn soon. And we need both lanes to make the left turn. We, we want to go straight over this roundabout. Hopefully the lights stay green for us. They do. We're 
taking up two lanes here because at these lights we want to go left. Getting left. Just keeping an eye out on traffic. I've got a car coming down the right hand side now. Checking left, checking right, all clear. We can make the left turn. You get cars often just pull out of here without thinking as well, which is a bit annoying. Oh look, they've opened the gate for me already. Spot on. He saw me come in. This uh, turn is getting a bit narrow. Because of the car that was situated there. But we're in. Had a car right on the corner that I had to mind the tail swing of the, uh, of the trailer. But we got in. We got in. Right, let's go get our paperwork checked. Then we can go and get loaded. Checked in, just got to uh, drive to the unloading area now and then they'll uh, take them all off. Right, we're in the loading area. Uh, we're just going to undo all the straps now, going down the length of the trailer and then uh, put them away. I do have a message from the boss. I haven't messaged him yet, but I got one from him saying something about the Tetbury. So we are going to Tetbury. I think he said firm, but I'll have a look at the message in more detail once all these are off. off okay next we need to take all of these straps off but rather than doing it by hand I need to uh, need the help of a little friend much better highly recommend you get yourself a strap binder Saves so much time. Okay, that's the last strap put away. Straps are now all off. Lovely jubbly. During the unloading process, uh, we do sit in the cab, but I'm just gonna stay outside for a little bit until he comes. He's not here yet. In fact, he might be behind us. Uh, but just take this opportunity to go around the truck, trailer, make sure everything's all okay before carrying on. And uh, I'll read the boss's message in a sec, see what he said. Right, we're sitting in the truck. Uh, oh, he's just about to unload us now, look. Good timing. There we go. We won't be here for long. He, uh, he whacks them off quite quick. Anyway, plan from here is to Tetbury, like I thought. I do like guessing where I'm gonna go next. Um, we are indeed going to Tetbury. We need to load for Fairham. I can probably have a guess at where we're going to Fairham as well. It's probably gonna be like build base. No, is it my build base? I don't know. I'll have a look, see where we go in Fairham. But that's where we're going. Oh, I think we deliver to a garden centre in Fairham. Yeah, we do. So it's going to be all pallets, I think. That's my guess. Because uh, I, I like to guess. <laughs> you know this. Um, so, yeah, deliver, uh, go to Tetbury, load up for Fairham. And then back to the yard. We've we got to meet someone in the yard who's going to do a trailer inspection. Because um, I need trailer inspections all the time. Destination at 13 and if we left now, we'll be at Tetbury for 13.21. So... Yeah, it takes about an hour to get there. We won't be too long here. So yeah, we should be in Tetbury before two o'clock, loaded by three o'clock, in the yard by sort of half three, quarter to four, do the trailer inspection. Hopefully we'll be finished by half four today. And then we'll, uh, we'll resume, resume the video 
uh, into tomorrow. But it's a lovely day today, man. Like, it's proper sunny out. Love it. I'm not joking. My arm is starting to burn. Suntan's coming back, baby. Yeah. Also, while I remember, uh, every time, well, not every time, but a lot of the time, whenever I wear glasses in my videos, I always get asked, which sunglasses glasses are they? Where'd you get them from? These are the McLaren glasses. They're actually really scratched. You should be able to see if it focuses. It says McLaren. Uh, McLaren glasses, uh, Renegades from Sun God. Um, I think they're about 130 quid, something like that. I don't know. I could do with some new ones. They're really badly scratched. Can you see how badly scratched they are? I don't think you can on camera. But they are, they are scratched and it's quite annoying. But they do look nice, I must admit. I do like these ones. So I might buy some more. Although, I say that, <laughs> I've got to be careful because um, I've got money, right? But also I've got no money. <laughs> We're moving house very soon, Ve very soon. In fact, I got an email literally today from the estate agent saying that they want to complete it at the end of this month, end of May. It's just too soon. <laughs> it's too soon for us. Um, we want to move end of July. <laughs> Uh, but that's too late for them, so we put we put it to them that we move end of uh, June instead. Meet in the middle. They want May, we want July, and we do June in the middle. So it gives us two months, two paydays essentially, uh, to save up money to move with. And also, uh, we need to give uh, notice on our current landlord as well where we live. So, yeah, we need to um, we need to slow the process down a bit. It's quite daunting really daunting. I'm actually a little bit scared about moving and buying my own house. Um, it's been a long time coming and it is coming. Hopefully in the next four to eight weeks um, I will have the keys to my own home. <laughs> oh man, it's really, it's, it scares me. I'm not gonna lie, it scares me. Having that mortgage, knowing that you've got that mortgage to pay for, it scares me a lot. Not gonna lie. But it's all, all part of providing for your family, I suppose, isn't it? And it's inheritance for the kids when they're, when they're older. Um, that house is worth... The, the house we're buying is just under half a million pound. That is good inheritance for the kids. That's, the way I'm looking at it is inheritance for the kids. But it's costing me a lot of money. The mortgage is astronomical. <laughs> astronomical. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, please... Uh, Please hit that subscribe button and leave a comment and share the video because uh, I need the money. <laughs> my, my kids need the money. <laughs> oh dear. It's a nice house. It's a shame it's semi-detached and not detached and it's a shame there's no side access to the garden. Uh, but apart from that, it's nice. It's a nice four, nice four bedroom house, nice big garden. It, well, big-ish. Um, not, it's not like acres of land or anything. Just a nice size garden at the back. Um, Four bedrooms. I'll have me in office again, so that's good. Just really, I'm sorry if this bores you talking about my house, but it just uh, it just gets off my chest a little bit saying things out loud. But it does it does scare me. It does scare me. Okay, we're done. We're tipped. I'll leave the Ivys on for a sec because we've got to jump out of the truck. Let's put this on as well. Let's go get weighed out so they know we're not stealing anything. <laughs> um, oh dear, there's a lorry reversing back from Formula One auto centres. That can't be an easy reverse with all the cars queuing up here to get out. Was he spinning around? I think, yeah, I think he's spinning around. Right, let's go get our paperwork. Uh, G14 HSH. Thank you very much. Do you want one of these little white copies or not? Um, look, I think that I know. I think that I do. Yeah, that I do. That I do. Brilliant. Okay. Cheers, mate. Do you want the door shut? No, don't leave me. <laughs> cheers, cheers, mate. Bye bye. I asked him if he wanted the door shut because uh, the other bloke in there did when I booked in. Now I'm booking out as a different bloke. There. 
Right. We're just waiting for the barrier to go up. There we go. <laughs> As I say. I can get that. Close. Let's go. So it's a bit of a bit of a tight turn getting out. Because of these cars parked here. There we go. And then cars from the right here, I think they can go out. They got a giveaway line. You can wait. Alright, oh, you are gonna barge out. That is literally a giveaway line just there, just so you know. But what can you do? <laughs> if I if I barge. I'm unprofessional. I'm supposed to be the professional driver, and I'll be seen as the uh, the one in the wrong doing. Do you know what I mean? But <sighs> what, what can you do? Just just let them go in at the end of the day. Just let them go. Travis Perkins there, deliver there, or used to deliver over there, an awful lot. But yeah, today, man, getting a bit of a uh, bit of warmth on the old driver's arm. <laughs> Starting to feel a little bit warm. It's 16 and a half degrees according to uh, the temperature on the dash. Um, so it is. It is actually a really nice day today. Hopefully, it's like this uh, over the weekend. What with it being a nice long three-day bank holiday weekend, King's coronation, and all that. Oh, talking of, thanks very much for everyone who's watched my last video. It's doing very well. Um, I can't remember the exact numbers it's on, but it's doing very well for the time it's been up. So thank you very much for watching. And I, the last video. Uh, really do appreciate it. I would imagine because of the subject, it's one of these as well. It's doing, doing rather well. So yeah, that's cool. That's good. Uh, this video probably won't do quite as well. And, <laughs> but I appreciate it nonetheless for those of you who have, uh, who have watched this. We're not finishing. Don't worry. I'm going to record tomorrow as well. Um, so like I said, we've got to go to Tetbury now and get loaded. Then we go um, to Fairham and deliver it and then you'll see you'll see that as well and then we'll probably start another video a different vlog tomorrow so uh i'd like to try and get two videos recorded um and edited over the long bank holiday weekend that's the plan but yeah sorry sorry for going on earlier about uh buying a house it's uh it is <laughs> it's very daunting knowing that my family like if i if i weren't working there's no way my wife could afford the mortgage without me uh, and vice versa. If I weren't working, there's no way she could afford the mortgage without me. So we do really need each other to, to pay for the mortgage. We've both got life insurance. Like, if one of us were to die, then um, the mortgage is paid off, essentially, with, uh, with life insurance. But hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, yeah, it's just daunting. I'm looking forward to it, but also very cautious. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to crack on. I shall see you when we get to Tetbury. It's pretty cool. Before I go, just show you these buildings. They've got like drawings on them, look. Like, drawings, paintings, each one of them. So I just want to quickly show you that before we go, because they are, uh, it's not my sort of thing, to be honest, but they do look cool nonetheless. Just because something isn't your thing doesn't mean it's not cool. I'm sure uh, that one looks cool, actually. I do like that one. That's, that's the best one. <laughs> Anyway, I'll see you in Tetbury. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right, we're at Tetbury. One truck in there getting loaded. Uh, so we go grab our paperwork and then we, hopefully, looks like he's nearly done. Hopefully we'll be uh, sent in pretty soon. I reckon it's all pallets. I hope it's all pallets. Right, it is mostly pallets. It's the, that one there, it says MB 2.5. I'm not sure if that's the big old tall pallets or not. But most of his pallets, that's good. If not all. <laughs> anyway, we'll be uh, we'll be let in soon, hopefully. Yeah, it's gorgeous weather today. 
nice sunny day. Need to wash the truck. Right, we've just given our paper to the forklift driver. He said, come on out when the lorry comes in. Oh, sorry, go on in, sorry, when the lorry comes out. That's what I mean. He has also confirmed it is all pallets. So that's good. Uh, and it's going to a nursery in Fairham somewhere. Um, looks a little bit, little bit snug, but we'll sort that out tomorrow. Not overly worried about that today. <laughs> right, we are loaded. Just show you the load real quickly. So we've got 23 pallets on. All strapped up, ready to go. One on the back end. This is what's gonna be going to Fairham. Still enjoying the, uh, the glorious weather. Okay, loaded, strapped up, paperwork's in our hands. Well, it's on the, it's on the dash. <laughs> Uh, we're giving in the safety equipment. We've got to carry like a buzzer around with us, so every time the forklift comes near us, it buzzes on us and also buzzes on the forklift as well. It's very warm. It's not a good time to be fat. I need to lose weight. <laughs> I, uh, I do get some comments every now and then from random people who don't always watch me. And they're like, yeah, we should lose weight. I'm like, yeah, thanks for letting me know. Cheers. Like, I don't know that. <laughs> like, I haven't been trying. Right, I need to make a phone call. Right, just waiting, because uh, there's a uh, lorry coming on down. Let's reverse back. It's a narrow lane. It's only a little rigid, so it doesn't need too much room. But still, some people don't even bother looking. They just, they just uh, come straight down without looking. I always give it a quick glance. You want to go back a little bit more. <laughs> Hello. You alright, mate? You was coming out or quite warm, cheers. <laughs> That's right. No worries, mate. Have a good day. Thank you, mate. Oh, I've got another one coming down now. Go on, mate. Come on. DC Griffin trailer. This one's an Arctic. I will need to live, leave more room. We will get out of here soon. <laughs> so just, it's not the biggest of roads. Um, you just try to be courteous, don't you, to other drivers? Come on, DC Griffin. I'm pretty sure they do the work for us as well. That like, is a guest, but I'm pretty sure they do. They are one of our subcontractors, I believe. Just like we have done subcontracted work for them as well, but I believe this work is our work for them. Right, <laughs> let's try and get out now, shall we? Without being stopped. So yeah, I just made a phone call to uh, the guy who's gonna look at the trailer. Um, I said I should be in the yard in about half an hour or so. So uh, let's get a move on, because that says, well, that means three o'clock and um, I think it might actually take 35, maybe 40 minutes if there's a bit of traffic. So, if we're late, we're late. I'd rather they was there early waiting for me than uh, me early waiting for them. I know that sounds selfish, but still. Never mind. <laughs> right, let's crack on. See you in a bit. Right, we are in the yard now. We are loaded, strapped down, and waiting for the guy to come and do the trailer inspection. Uh, once that's given the okay, I think... I think we'd be going home because it'd be like there's no point going down to Fairham. The boss hasn't specifically told me to head down there. Normally he would say like um, he would have said inspection in the yard and then head down to Fairham or head down, head up. Do I mean something like that? He normally does, but he hasn't said anything. So I'm assuming it's home tonight. Um, and then just yeah, back in the morning. It's just over a two hour drive there, so I get back for six in the morning, back here, and then um, crack on from there. So yeah, we're, uh, we're done for the day. Just guys gonna do the inspection and then we're gonna go home for the evening. Okay, morning everyone. It is 6 a.m. next day. I'm just walking back to the truck. We'll get her warmed up and then we can crack on. Okay, there she is. Loaded and strapped. It is supposed to be a nice day today. It's pretty cold at the moment, six degrees. Um, but it is supposed to warm up later. <laughs> it was so warm yesterday, I went home without my hoodie. So, 
got outside this morning, I was like, oh, it's a bit cold. Let's grab a hoodie. <laughs> so just doing a daily check on the vehicle, make sure everything's all working. We had our trailer inspection yesterday when we got back. Uh, it was all okay apart from one thing. It had a, uh, a bulb out, which I replaced. I also had a bulb out. Uh, that one there, the bottom. That line there is actually two bulbs. I had one bulb out on the other side. Uh, so I changed that. I knew that one was out anyway. But I changed it while he was doing the inspection. And then the only other thing was uh, this one was out. So you've got two side lights, one here and one here in red. And that one was out. So I changed that one as well. So it passed the uh, the inspection. So yeah, we're just going to uh, check all the straps. Make sure everything's all right. And then we can crack on. Next time I see you, we will probably be in Ferrum. So I'll see you when we get there. Right, you join me in Ferrum. We are just around the corner from where we need to be. We need to get into this lane now. What lane do we need? I think we need this far right-hand side lane, I think. Where this truck's going. Um, we've got to go down a lane. A lane down there. Oh, I wonder where we are. There's a weight limit down there, isn't there? I think. We've got to go down there. We need access. So we've got to go down there. Um... So we phoned them up yesterday, they said turn up at 8 o'clock, it's bang on 8 o'clock right now, so... Oh, just, just after 8 actually. 8.02. So we're pretty much here on time. Um, I'm not sure if we reverse in or drive in. It looks like it could be a little bit, a little bit snug to making the right hand turn. So I think we'll probably park up on the road, wander in and see what they say, because it could be a case of reversing in, off the road, which is only a little lane, or it could be a case of driving in and then reversing back out across the road, into opposite land, basically, to, to get back out. So, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll make that call when we get there. Apparently this was actually supposed to be delivered yesterday when I phoned them up, and they said they had people in specially for it. So, it's not my fault. <laughs> I'm just a delivery driver. I don't arrange delivery dates. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure we don't want the right-hand side lane. We want to keep left of this lane here, but you'll Fine. Some vehicles might go around and just cut in last minute. Hopefully they don't do that. Turn green. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Stay green, stay green, stay green, stay green. I'm going to make that. I will make that. Right, yes. Seven and a half ton, except for loading. We need the access. We need the access. And it's just down here on the right hand side. Literally just down here on the right. Oh, I don't like how busy this is here at all. Well, I can't make that turn with these cars parked here, surely. We're delivering to this place here on the right. We can't make that turn with all those cars there. Yeah, we're going to have to... I don't know what to do now. <laughs> we're going to have to go in and see someone. Right, back in a bit. Da -da -da -da. I don't suppose you know whose cars that is, mate. That's cool, I need to get in here. I'm in that truck. <laughs> I just need to double check with them if they want me to reverse in or drive in, that's all. Yeah. Um, but I don't want to take your cars out. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, I'm in that big truck. Yeah. We've got a few cars in the way, I've just asked them to move. Did you want me to drive in or reverse in? Reverse would be ideal. Yeah. Just in the middle if that's all Yeah, right, right let's give it a go. It side. Yeah, it would be, yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. That's all right. I just need to see if I can get in because there's some cars in the way. <laughs> That's it. Right, they want me to reverse in. I'm not going to make it with this van here. Don't have a lot of room at all. 
Cheers, mate. No um, they space, do you know who this blue van is? I believe that's... The oh, no, that's the they actually want me to reverse in, so I've got to come down here and then sort of reverse back in. Fucking clue who that one is. Um, yeah, I'll go and last one with the side quick. All right, cheers, mate. <laughs> What's that? Nightmare, isn't it? Yeah. I thought it was a bit snug. Do you know who's that? Uh, yeah, Chris is. Do you need a boot? Yes, please, mate. I'm in that. that I'm in that lorry. I got to reverse into that garden centre. Oh, okay. So I got a, a trailer to take it out. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'll get a move, mate. Cheers, mate. I'm in that truck. I got to reverse into here. Oh, so if you can just try and keep this space clear, that'd be great, mate. Yeah, no Cheers, mate. Like, why am I having to deal with all this? Just waiting for this blue van to move. If the car in front of me wasn't there, I could move a bit more forward, but I'm a bit stuck where I am at the moment. I think getting out is gonna be a nightmare as well. You don't know whose van that one is, do you? I oh, know. Didn't know if it was a regular. He just needs to swing in to get that lorry in. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Oh, it's all the posh people going to the private school, that's why at the end. Ah, oh, it's going to be that time, isn't it? Yeah. yeah school run. Oh, you can tell by all the cars, can't you? <laughs> all these high end vehicles. Oh, yeah. Hello, mate. Oh, thank you. So I just want to drive, sort of drive up there and I want to reverse in. So if you can, so if you can just clear this little space. You're here for a bit. Stop talking. Right, uh, I'll Perfect. give it a go. Okay. Okay. Causing a bit of mayhem on the roads we are. We do not have an awful lot of space. Come on. Of course, no one is going to stop and give way to me. We've got a car behind me trying to overtake. He's not going to like the fact I'm doing a reverse maneuver in a sec. don't have a lot of space at all to do this manoeuvre. Ah, it's nowhere near sharp enough. This white car here is in the way. <laughs> we just don't have a lot of room. We might, be, <laughs> we might in the end have to just drive it in if we can't spin it this round in here. I just don't have the room. <laughs> Can't reverse it in where I am, unfortunately. I 
I can't get it in. What's that? They made some more. Uh, I think the white car there might have be been moved, but I just it's a bit tight getting it in with all these cars parked here as well. I've got nowhere to go now. <laughs> Do you want to see if I can get that Renault moved? Yeah, that would help a little bit. Yeah. And, and the Ford as well. Like, that one there? Yeah. It's a bit snug. I knew it was going to be snug. He's going to go and ask him. He says he thinks it's the plaster. Ah, right. Uh, the, the white car behind it yeah, would be the white good. Car. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you. I don't know how long it'll be. Do you want to do a lap? Is that easier? Um, yeah, I could. I could do. Yeah. I'll go and do a lap. That's right. I'm very sorry. <laughs> That's right. It's, uh, yeah, it's a bit silly. Better put my seatbelt on because we're on the main road now. We'll, um, we'll do a lap to try and make traffic go round a bit more. But uh, yeah, it's just a bit snug. Oh my God, can we even make this right turn now with this truck here? Yeah, it should be able to. We might end up now getting stuck on the road. just not what you want. <laughs> Messing around, trying to get into somewhere. Okay, round two. Let's put my beacons on. Right, <laughs> there's another van been put there. Don't come in yet, if we're just getting that Renault catcher moved. Yeah. Oh. Nightmare. It's taking a nightmare to get tracked down. Yeah, the one who he moved his white estate and then he pulled in front of him. We were like, no, so I got him to pull in ours. <laughs> Right, I'm going to have to jump out and try and sort out with traffic. I'll see you in a bit. Right, current situation. We just can't make that turn. Um, so I've come back round again. This time, I'm turning left here, not right. And I'm going to go in the way I just come out and then drive in rather than reversing. That's, and if we can't do that, then I, just, I don't think we can make the delivery. So we've just got to spin round head back in. I'm hoping this roundabout's big enough, but it might be too small. Nah, we should be alright. Oh, okay. So we're going to go in the other way now. 
and hopefully we can make the turn. <laughs> this place is a bit of a nightmare, it's just too, it's too tight. What it is is opposite, apparently they, they normally use their drive to get in and out of the lorries, but they, we can't use that because they've got building work going on and there's a lot of builders vans there and you get asked one to move and then another one turns up, it's ridiculous. So um, yeah, this is like the next best thing we can do. If we can't get in this way, I don't know what we're going to do, but we'll see. But I can see us, I can see it being a case that when we have to leave again, we're going to have to ask those people to move just so we can get out. Bit of a nightmare. Okay, this is the left turn we need to make. There was a lorry driver here, I just asked him to move back when I come back, so I can make the swing in. Hopefully he has. He's going to have to move back a bit more. Did tell him to move back. Now he knows what I'm talking about. He looked very confused when I told him. Yeah, you can go forward now, mate. Yeah, you can go forward now, mate. That's all right. Cheers, mate. <laughs> he looked very confused. He goes, but I'm delivering there. I said, I know you're delivering there, mate, but you're not in there now, are you? When I come back, please, can you move back a little bit? Um, now he gets what I mean. Say thank you to this person. Ah, what a palaver. see if we can get in this way. We should hopefully be okay this way. Take it nice and wide. Yeah, should be all right. Getting out will be difficult. <laughs> it's, just get, it's just getting out now. <laughs> right, we're in. We get the delivery made somehow, somehow or another. I don't want to block a fault lift in. Yeah, just getting out is going to be very difficult. It's on my blind side as well, but we're managed. We're in. All right, let's get this off. It'll be a lot easier once we're lighter as well. <laughs> See you in a bit. Right, we are in. Straps are off and we are being unloaded. Bit of a nightmare. That was probably the closest I've ever been to refusing a delivery just because purely I couldn't get in, but we did get in. We just got to get out now. It's already starting to get blocked off already. So yeah, we've got to reverse back out of here. Of course, it's going to be a blindside reverse, so I'm not going to be able to see too much. She has said she will help me. Yeah, actually, we should be okay ish. As long as we. Oh, there's a red car there. <laughs> we will be quite close to that red car reversing out. Um, yeah, sort of reverse out to here from this main road and then just drive straight forward. That would be the best way to get out. Um, but as my trailer's round here, as my trailer back into my trailer is here, my cab will still be round the corner. I won't be able to see, but should be right. Anyway, message the boss. I've got no idea what we're doing from here. I'm gonna guess. Portsmouth, um, Shoreham Docks is what I'm going to guess. Let's find out. Okay, just got confirmation of what we're doing next. We're heading back to uh, Swindon, basically, South Cerny. Redlands, get loaded with roofing tiles and a local delivery to Melksham. So, um, yeah, that's sort of, Melksham is just after chipping them down the A350. So, uh, yeah, pretty local, only be about an hour away. I would have thought by then it'd be back to the yard from there. See you back. Yes, if you can just make sure there's no traffic coming and then... From that way, 
for, from, ways, from, ways, from both, okay. yeah, from both ways. I'll, um, I'll just put a high vis on and yep. then move the cone. Lovely. Right. Thank you. Um, really nice lady, actually. Um, apparently, she used to be an ex-police officer. Yeah, very friendly. Um, well, when I first turned up, I was like, no one going to help me out then? <laughs> there was traffic. But she did come out and she helped out. So, kudos to her. It is going to be... A bit tight getting out, I think, but we'll uh, we'll give it a go. Hopefully, we can do it in one go as well. Like I said, we're going back to South Cerny to get loaded. Okie dokie, let's give this a go. Let's give this a whirl. Need to get a sharp angle. Yeah, a bit like that. Let's just make it a bit not so sharp. We are blind. I can't really see too much. Whoa. Is she saying stop or? Are we going back? Can't see her arm. We're completely blind, I can't see anything. Keep going. Yeah. Yep. Lovely. Still fine. First time, look. <laughs> Thank, thank you. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye. Yeah, so we are out. That's good. We'll put a seatbelt on once we get past this car and pedestrian. Bit, bit tight then. On the, bit tight on the car then. I was moving over to avoid the pedestrian, but um, the back end of the trailer wasn't quite clear of the car. <laughs> Right, yes, we made it. What a what a bit of a palaver. It's not, well, yeah, it was a palaver, I'm not going to lie, because of other vehicles in the way. Um, I don't think they expect large vehicles down. I mean, it is a weight-limited road, this, except for loading, which obviously we have full right to do, because we are loading. This roundabout looks like it could be a bit awkward to get out of. Yeah, we can make that. As I say, that is completely clear. Um... But yeah, no, it was just, it was the work vehicles mostly that was in the way, stopping me from doing the right turn. Well then, even if they weren't now, I don't think I could make the right turn, which is what I thought looking on the map yesterday. That's why I said it was snug in the first place. So reversing in would have been the best thing to do, but I couldn't get it in. I couldn't get the angle to reverse it in um, because there was like a, a tree trunk sticking out a little bit and then parked cars on the left, which they're perfectly entitled to park there because it's their land. <laughs> so... Yeah, um, just a little bit awkward to, uh, to reverse in. So after going around a couple of times, decided to spin round and come in the other direction because I, I thought there was a very good chance I'd get it in and then a very good chance I'd get out. Just be a blind side reverse out, but you know, we did that okay as well. So yeah, it's all gravy. It's all gravy, baby. So um, yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, obviously, yesterday we delivered to Hydro in Cheltenham then we got loaded um, yes, last night and then obviously we delivered that this morning so that's, that's uh, today's video hopefully you've enjoyed it um, most of my videos tend to be around the 40 minute mark I'll be honest when recording I've got absolutely no idea how long it's going to be I do suspect this one's going to be on the shorter side maybe 30 minutes um, but ideally I would like to get them down to 30 minutes and then upload twice a week ideally um, so you get an hour's worth of footage uh, a week Near the car, and the truck decides to put his automatic brakes on. I was nowhere near it. Bloody hell! So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed yourself. Thank you for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon.